What's up, what's up, yo, 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 it's your girl, Nene J up in the house, and this is BME TV. Welcome to the show. Shout out to my whole Big Man Entertainment crew. And for you all out there, please go to YouTube, subscribe to our page, which is the new and improved BME TV. Click that button, let me know you watching. So without further ado, when there's legends in the house, you got to do what you got to do. We got to make this thing pop. So here now, without further ado, we have Big D, Good Time Slim, and Easy Mo B. Right. Up in the area. What's up, family? Going on, Brooklyn. Yo, you all of what's going on. You all was going. Y'all been busy, man, and I've been following and paying attention. Let me know about this project y'all got going on. We got the new single off the uh, Big D and Easy Mo B album titled This Is My Life, called um, New York Hardcore, Future Myself, Good Time Slim, Sway Sever, Poison Pen, The Capo, Mortal Technique, and my brother Easy Mo B. Yep, yep. Yeah, I heard it, and that is fire. Thank you. It's out and it's Thank moving you. and trying to bring New York back. Oh, please do. <laughs> please do, because I'm telling you, when I heard it, I'm like, we've been missing that for a minute. Well, this is just oh, what yeah. New York been missing. Yeah, we're not scared. We're not scared to talk say the things that's supposed to be said you know thank goodness so thank goodness that's a lot that's a lot it's missing like you said earlier it's, missing. it's too many stuff it's too much missing out here and i'm like the sooner it come back the better y'all for so real the game been missing real mcs like that's why i had to bring it back everybody that you hear on 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 that single was real mcs like not rappers lyricists MCs, lyricists there is content, a difference a message behind the words all of that that's like true. Pride in your how you sound and how you come across and what you're saying. Bring that back. And That's every right. man on that song has been on the stage in front of 10, 20, 30,000 people and held that stage down on their own. And did Facts. the damn thing. I, I, I'm like I say, I watch, I follow, I follow y'all. And Thank I'm you. like, I, I really kind of pulled back from hip hop because it wasn't, it's missing it. You know. What I'm That's what I like. You, you'd be surprised. We we do shows like you said. We do shows all over. You'd be surprised how much we hear that from the supporters of the culture. Like, oh man, y'all like a breath of fresh air. Like, nah, we, this is what everybody's supposed to be trying to at least attempting to do. Everybody got a different agenda, unfortunately. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody's so caught up now to the mainstream hip hop that they for, they forgot about what it was the the really MC get in the booth and be MCs and put out real real music instead of. Popcorn, bubblegum music. Well, if y'all never started it, they wouldn't have had nowhere to go with it. It's New York. <laughs> you know it's what New I'm York. Saying? How you been feeling about this Easy Mo B? What's been happening, man? I mean, it's a pleasure to be involved. You know, as long as um, real, true hip hop, that is beats plus rhymes, is it is involved, I, I'm happy to be there, and I'm I'm happy to be involved. You know, it's it's like. What y'all was just speaking about, we definitely need a return to the essence. Absolutely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, uh, he mentioned the term mainstream earlier, there's nothing wrong with making, crafting songs and good albums. Mm. Facts. But the meat, the center of hip hop, we need mm. that again. Yeah, that man. basic concept. And, and you know, gotten kind of far off from that right now. Way, way So on. you will find a lot of the, the true element of hip hop on Big D album. I, I always wondered, like, do the up and coming artists they have out here now, do they ever hit y'all up with advice? Because I think if they did, they'd be going in a different direction. A good, I, I, I want to make a point about that. 
I was just thinking about it the other day to see mm-hmm. when when everything, believe it or not, when all the artists was coming through the major labels, you had all these different departments. You got A and R, you got, and then the A and R passes them off to their own mm-hmm. publicist, um, artist development. So the artists is they being told what to do. They being, you know, they being taught. When you got uh, internet generation. Yeah. Of people who got their computers set right there. Mm. There's no development. Right. There's no guidance. It's out there. They do it and they put it out there. And it's a wrap. So in their eyes, yo, this is it. I'm good. But you're not all good all the time. There's a lot of good stuff out there, but there's a lot of stuff that's not. I agree. And, and, I, and I blame that I on the internet that. generation. That You're absolutely right. And what I did have to come to learn myself is, being that I am an old hip hop head, every generation has their what they their, their hip hop. Right. So right. I, I've had to learn that this generation now, even though where it may not be my thing, this is their thing now. But if you get the foundation of it right, there's no way it can kind of go off to the left like it's been going. That's just in my opinion. And I don't want to sound anti-internet. Right. Cause right, because I'm, I'm not. Because they got some stuff out there. Yeah. But if you keep the meat and the foundation of the stuff right, it can't go left. It's a lot. It's You, you said something you know, about the younger generation. Mm-hmm. Like me personally, I got a bunch of young MCs that's around me. They watch me do my thing. I've been right. doing this 10 plus years. So they've been seeing me do it independently. So a lot of times they try right. and... You know, they try to delve into to what you would say is the last era of hip right. hop, but the youth is so conditioned to say, nah, 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 I want to hear it like this, I want to hear that, and I want to hear this sound. So they're not, you know, this, the creativity is almost like taken right. away from the art, and that's crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy. I it believe is. it's a, a large percentage of them younger out there that want to do that, they want that to. real yeah, they want hip hop, but right. they're dealing with peer pressure too. Well, if yeah. you, if you want it that bad, you go and get it. Cause I'm like, you did, there ain't nothing like hip hop. Right. There's right. really nothing like it. And they don't understand. Like we have a, we have a feeling about it because it's, you know, it started with us. Right. So, the ownership feeling is a little bit more. You know, of course you want the youth to help progress the sound and all that, but, like, yo, you listen to what you know. You don't you don't walk in somebody's house and tell daddy what to do and how to work and how to m- make money and how to. That's put right. food on the table and you don't know you sit down and you see what daddy doing oh all right cool well when i get old enough i'm gonna do it like that right i've seen him do it that's you know it should be that it should be it should be a whole bunch more. it really should be it really should be and i see a lot of people hit me up with and i said y'all be the perfect people to ask about this is there a difference between hip-hop and rap go oh, big d go 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 ahead it is. <laughs> <laughs> go yeah it definitely is Okay, let us know what the difference is. I mean, rap is just rap about it, anything. Hip hop mm-hmm. always got a message with it, got a story behind always. it, a meaning to it. It's the culture. It is the culture, and it's funny. I don't think some of the the up and coming people s- view it as a culture. Some I think that they get in and they get out, they get their little fifteen minutes of fame, and then they off somewhere. But true hip hop stays forever. I mean, Ever. a lot of these dudes now in this era, they do it for the money. Like, when we did it, we did it for the fun of it. I right. mean, everybody do it because everybody got bills. Well, the money bills. wasn't even the same yeah, back the money then, wasn't so y'all, it had to be all hard. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> the money really was the same back then, but the artist wasn't seen. Right. Right. Facts. You right. know, the label, the label was walking away with 97% of the money, mm. you know, and was giving away 3%. Exactly. So the money was always been there, but the, la- the artist just wasn't. Book smart. It is. Know what I mean? Now, nowadays, everybody book smart, everybody on top of their game, or they paying lawyers. They probably don't know nothing, but they paying lawyers that, that's book smart. And then they, the lawyers And that's the how money. they getting the money. But the artists still ain't getting it because they so dumb, and they not book smart. And the lawyer know they not book smart. So the lawyer like, okay, you know what? I could tell you ain't graduate. So I'm going to get you. You know what I mean? Even though you hired me, I'm going to still get you. That's true. But stuff like that been happening for years, and you figure by now, you know to get your right team together so it's putting out the right stuff. But that never, you know, that never happened. Me coming, being with Ultra Magnetic, that never happened with us. Like, Mm -hmm. I was the dude who always read the contracts for Ultra. We didn't need no lawyers. 
I mean, all that money that people was paying lawyers, we kept that in the pocket. Yeah. I would sit home at night, read 25, 50 page contracts like, right. this you is wrong. To. No, we're not doing this. You know what? Take these contracts back. Send them back when they're correct. That's right. And that's why Ultra never really got burnt. Mm-hmm. And for those you know labels that did, you know I was the I was dead. Like, listen, this ain't correct. Right. I mean, we don't want nothing. Put the right thing back on the table. You got some people signing stuff and not reading nothing. Nah, you can't. You couldn't do that with us. <laughs> like back in the days, you had, for instance, okay. Half of the rap game back in the days that had hot songs and hot albums, mm-hmm. they wasn't they was they wasn't book smart. So what they would do, the clubs would get them limos, drugs, and they was happy with that, <laughs> and they would keep the money. Wow! And pay them with little peanuts, and then give them a limo all night. Mm-hmm. Y'all keep your limos. So yeah. recoupable. Keep your drugs. Though. Keep your mm-hmm. limos. <laughs> give me mm-hmm. my money. That's it. I mean, we got our own cars. We got a team with cars. We don't want the drugs. Keep Give all us that. our money. <laughs> what you was gonna say, Easy Mobile? I was gonna say all that, all them um, cars and whatever you get in food and hotel rooms. It's all recoupable yeah, anyway. It's recoupable. That's that's messed up. Well, well, he can <laughs> tell you because he's been in it longer than I have. It's, it's been. It has to have been a journey. It had to have been a journey. Yeah. Um, 2019 we're coming up on 30 years <laughs> and you have seen it like from <laughs> from baby stages on up man my first entry was big daddy king yeah. legendary yeah yeah wow but it's a big daddy thing his second album i, think I remember I that be by two years then you gotta be by two yeah, yeah wow because mm. we've been out maybe two years before kane even came out mm. that's some history our right first there, record man. was um Ego tripping, but it was a single. I remember Ego tripping. And on the B side was a song called Beat. Mm-hmm. And that single is what kept us flowing. Critical beat down on, I mean, Ego tripping on one side, Bait on the other. Mm-hmm. And the record was so hot because Red Alert made it hot. Well, Red Alert, Mr. Like Magic and them made it hot. Yeah. And then Paul C was like, well, listen, let's do the album. Mm-hmm. Him and said, they went to the studio, they went to Philly, 1212. We started going out there. We put the album together. Said had the studio in the, in the Bronx, and we gave them critical beat down. That's a beautiful. And that thing. was that was eighty eight. Ultra came out in eighty six. The album came out in eighty eight. Mm. Wow, I remember back then with all that. Like it was yesterday, man. That's why I said I'm really glad y'all doing what you're you're, you're putting out here. So what what brought about New York hardcore? How would y'all piece that together? What made this come together? Well, um, my other brother, Just Blaze, from um, Rockefeller Records, Rock Nation, mm-hmm. you know, um, me and him was kicking him one day, because Moby did the whole album, except for two records. Okay. Just Blaze did one, Static Selected did one, and Moby did the rest. So, me and Mo was recording the album, so then me and Just Blaze was talking one night, we was at a club. Mm-hmm. He was like, yo, man, know you on Mo. I had let him hear the album. Matter of fact, I sat in his um Lamborghini, and I played the album for him. And he was like, "Yo, this is crazy." He was mm-hmm. like, "Yo, please let me get one in there." Right. So then I went to Mo, and I was like, "Yo, Just Blaze say he want to do a track." Mm-hmm. So he said, "Let him do a track then." Mm-hmm. And that's what I you know. That's how I got he that. gave me the track. I brought it back team I, I told the team to come to the studio i played the song i said what y'all think about it they was like yo this is crazy i said you want in call me all the way from brooklyn middle of the night all right that's right how to the south that's bronx how yeah. I was up. also also <laughs> shout to static selector facts yeah static selector right. did a song too called reach out on the album okay. that's like a harlem feel good record reminisce yeah. record yeah, yeah definitely now when is the album going to drop um Right now, the single been out now about a month, mm-hmm. and it's getting great reviews. It's moving, mm-hmm. so we right now we just on a heavy radio for the last month. My manager, who's also my wife, she she been working us crazy. Like the the song been doing so good, we just been on a constant radio run. Shouts to the boss lady. I can't even say shout Shouts out. to the boss lady. Yeah, That's you know right. I mean? <laughs> like I owe I owe this to her because if she came in, I had 
I had different management before, mm-hmm. and it wasn't really moving. So since she stepped in, like it's been nonstop. Like, you got that right combination. There's nothing like it. Yeah, that's right. Definitely. Well, I personally want to thank y'all for being a big part of hip hop history and and keeping it alive because it's in me. As, I mean, I cling to hip hop. I, hip hop plays in my house on a regular basis, and when it's real, ain't nothing like it. Right. So I, I, owe, I, I owe thank to this y'all man. for that. This is the man who I owe to because <laughs> I was about to retire from hip hop. I'm glad 10 you, years I'm ago. glad you didn't. Like, I'm if glad I didn't see this man here. ten years ago, this album would not be coming out right now because I was uh, I was on my way into retirement. Uh, I mean, it was meant to be. Like me and him sat in his truck one night. We talked for hours, and I was like, I'm done. Like. Ultra wasn't, you know, working out, mm-hmm. and we wasn't getting nowhere. So I was just like, "Yo, you know, I, I'm done with the back and forth. I'm I'm done with the disloyalty. It was no honor in the game no more." So I was like, "You know what? I'm done with this." And I told him, I was like, "Yo, the only way I'm gonna come back in this game is if you, you gonna give me a joint where I'm gonna take the game over." And it all started with. It was only supposed to be one song. Yeah, he, <laughs> really? He, 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 <laughs> yeah, he put and then a one song he put a is B-CD. what grew into a whole album. Wow! You know what yeah, happened? Yeah. He put a B C D on, and the song, the C D had fifty songs on there. Wow! They was all dope. <laughs> it was not one joint that I could say was mediocre. That's wow! Facts. Every this, this is like we like, like 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 let's give it up. We do know that Easy Mo is this the legacy that yes, that's right indeed. here, yo. This, this is guy here is responsible right for here, over a hundred million records being sold wor- worldwide. So it was like, and he he played the CD, and I was listening, and I was like, when when he had this one beat, he played this one beat, and I was like, I said, hold up, stop that, bring that back again. <laughs> I didn't even want to hear no more of the the CD. Like I said. Stop the CD. I was like, that's it. I'm done. Wow. He said, I said, yeah, what's up? Who who that song for? <laughs> you. And I, said, <laughs> I remember saying you. <laughs> you. <laughs> there it is. So you. we lost we lost bases for like a couple months. Then I was seeing him again. I'm like, yo, I need that beat. He was like, all right. We lost bases for like eight more months. It was like every time we seen each other was like every six to eight months now. Wow. Then we went like two years without seeing each other. I bumped back into him. Every time I seen his name on the fly, I was going to the party. That's like, yo, Mo, I need that beat. <laughs> and he was like, yo, you still want that beat? It's three years later. I'm it like, yo, please, I need that beat. He said, yo, what is it about that 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 beat that you keep asking me for? And I was like, if I'm going to do it, that's, that's the beat that's going to bring me back. But you see what I'm saying? It's, it's something about the way we do our kind of hip-hop. See, what we do is, is, I mean, for me, making the tracks, the musical structure is based on, for me, it got to be pulled from the funk, mm. yeah. soul, you know, jazz. That's, that's a lot of the elements that go into the beats that I make. Mm-hmm. And that's forever. It is. That will never, ever play out. And that's the reason why <laughs> when he missed me for two years and see me <laughs> again and be like, Yo, you still got that beat. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> we go in and it worked. That's the reason why. And so the record is a timeless right? Like, that record has been out now three years, mm-hmm. four years. Mm-hmm. And it's still, when you hear it in the club, it sounds like it came like out it yesterday. it just came out. That's right. Like, if you ever hear Biggie's record, Juicy? Yeah. That record is 20-some years old. It is. And it's still, when you put that record on in a club. It's the same response. And that's the way it is today. Like, you can hear I Rep and Why. 20 years later and it'll still sound fresh like. But well, see, that's the feeling, that's the New York. Mm-hmm. It used to be anytime you knew something came from New York, as yeah. soon as you heard it, you, yeah. that's, a new, that's a New York artist right there. You didn't even have to hear the MC on it. They well, don't no do that anymore. It. New York used to set trends. We used to, we used to make the fashions. We used to make what's hot, hot. Everybody mm-hmm. used to set their clock after us. That's it. This, this, <laughs> this is the center of the universe, New York City, yo. That's true. And, we, and, and hip hop started here and we following leads on this. So that's to answer your original question, mm-hmm. the New York hardcore. That's where it really came from. Like we ain't supposed to be following nobody. That's like we, right. do, I say this every interview. We the trendsetters. <laughs> this is what posted. It's New York City, man. I gotta have pride in that. Anybody watching this, have pride in that, yo. You you like sound it. like a New Yorker, and that's we right. keep it in generations. Cause you see here, is Mo, mm-hmm. 
Facts. He's my teacher. You know what I mean? I'm a student of his. And this big bro right and here. And I keep big him bro. Up, my bro under me. That's cool. Because they didn't they nice in this game in this era now. So I'm never above keeping my younger my younger G's with me like that'll keep right. me on my toes. Right. None of you none of you I young mean, rappers right. don't run yeah, up on right. us. You'll get smashed. Trust me, real. I got a team like my, my whole team is us. nice. Liberty. Run up on me, rapping. Yeah. My whole my whole team from him to Sway Sever. Yeah. Listen to the Poison song, New Pen, York Hardcore. Yes, Listen please. To it. And my brother, Mortal Technique. Everybody's a Rub liberal along, genius bro. that's Same on that behind, song. Right? Nice. I'm gonna see if uh, we can add that on to the end of this this tape, and that's what I want to try to do. Yeah. But um, from each one of y'all, before we go, just put a message out there to the to the hip hop world of some substance and hopefully maybe people just fall on board and keep yeah, that real hip hop in their in their spirit. Yeah. Let the OG right here lead it all. Absolutely. Man. We learn from him. Well if I had to leave words and I want to send a message especially to like the younger up and coming uh generation in hip hop, I would just say make sure I always say this, make sure you go back and, and research mm -hmm the pioneers, and even in addition to that, the whole landscape of, of artists that influenced them. I'm talking about, I mentioned it earlier, the funk, the soul, the jazz, a lot of the original art forms, the whole reason why we do this, don't be afraid to familiarize yourself with that because that, that's forever. It is, it is. Um, my message? To any of the young MCs out there, I'm gonna talk because I'm an MC, so I'm gonna talk to the MCs. Yo, write your own content, <laughs> right. write your own <laughs> lyrics. Don't let nobody write your lyrics. <laughs> write your own lyrics, be creative, and just do it with passion. Yo, and rep where you're from. Just be true to yourself, yo, and that's it. What about you, Jay? I mean, they basically summed it up. Like, I'm gonna just say, don't be a follower, be a leader. Like they, like Slim said, write your own music, your own rhymes, your own songs. Because you know, nowadays the game is crazy. You know, people let you write a song for them, and next you know, they own everything. Like <laughs> they own your publishing just like that. for the rest of your life. Like you know, so just basically know know your know your homework. You know, do your homework. You know, get book smart. Don't just sign them contracts without knowing what you're signing because you could definitely sign your life away and sign your family away right along with it. Next thing you know, God forbid, something happened to you. Your family got nothing, you right. know, and the next man is getting rich off of you. Mm. That's deep. So know, know, know your worth. Know, know, do your homework and get book smart, you know, and enter this game on the correct level because there's no loyalty in this game. None. Not anymore. When it come to money, there's no lawyer. That's true. Can y'all um give them your social media information so they can follow y'all and also where they can hear this song? Okay, for me, on? Easy Mo B, you can find me on Instagram at the real Easy Mo B at the real E A S Y M O B W -E. Good Time Slim on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Just look for the blue check. We all verified. My Twitter is um the real big D one three two. My um IG is big D underscore CEO underscore BGF Entertainment, and my Facebook page is Darnell Williams. And my um I got three YouTube pages: all big D, big D one three two, and big D Ultra Magnetic. Yeah, I have to really thank y'all for coming through. Thank you. I, 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 it always refreshes my hip hop, <laughs> my hip hop spirit when I'm around presence, presence like this. And Thank um, you I for appreciate it. Me. And I pray y'all keep doing what you're doing. We shall. And I, you got my support 100%. Thank we you. shall. Thank the you. The single was out too. Everybody could go on iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, all your Amazon. Music. Services, yeah. all that. It's, it's, it's out up there. there. Check it out. Yo. Video coming soon. Very, yeah, very definitely. soon. Oh, we're going we gonna to hear about that. As soon as they get it, I'm going to get it. <laughs> and we coming to all hoods near you shoot the video you heard that thank you all from the bottom of my heart thank you Pharrell. thank you thank you one love and hey yo stay tuned and you can't come on if you got your career starting out and this is what you're trying to get into this is the foundation of it right here 
listen to what they said because you know it, it holds true and i'm quite sure you'll have a better career and a better life for it so thank you thank y'all keep watching us we always coming to you live and we always bring it real deuces Yeah, I sampled some crazy sounding, look, listen at that. Like just weird, weird sounding stuff. Together more iller than Magava. I never tire. Spirit live like a wire. I came to let you know fantasies burn like desires. Before I go on this mic, I show pity. Coast to coast, I whirlwind through cities. Yeah, I whirlwind through cities. Influential, scientific power. My mental violence will shower, devour at a crazy rate. Enterprising, uprising, surprising, ultrasonic, mind like bionic. Hit your body up just like a root's tonic. It's ironic, negative broke to north. I hit the crowd up and scorch off like Malator. Stadiums is ripped in half, the diameter of area. Mathematics, straight up staring ya, face to face, cheek to cheek, eye to eye. Not many wish to battle, but never wanna die. So they kick it, about the finer things in life. Yes, brings is nice, yes, but now the skills be priceless. And so I radiate platinum, diamond luster, flavor, perform unique, my cosmic saber as the legend. Told the heavens cradle my birth. Time to get down from my crown and show you what it's worth. My energy levels about to reach the proximity. Perverted monk, I whirlwind through cities. Yeah, I whirlwind through cities. Influential, scientific power. My mental violence will shower, devour at a crazy rate. The intentions on reminiscence is essential On how I had dreams of a youth, now monumental It's coming true, things I said have come to pass That MCs would get busy but still won't get no cash Some talents get the stash with skills are half as yours It's not about styles, it's what the crowd you has applauds This unified circle, slip up it hurts you So I spread forth and my thoughts make miracles With my syllables I'm killing you, but never softly I'm unique, my critique speaks of my physique From Chicago to Cairo, skills like the mic on MCs, I make them think that I was hieroglyphics Now the whole world can read the message Fake MCs, cut and walk through my passage I fool rock, shake the world with agility Master self, I whirlwind through cities Yeah, I whirlwind through cities Influential, scientific power My mental violence will shower, devour At a crazy rate Yeah